Don't pick up the phone You know he's only calling Cause he's drunk and alone Two Don't let him in You have to kick him out again Three Don't be his friend You know you're gonna wake up In his bed in the morning And if you're under him You ain't getting over him I got no rules I got him What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It's so weird because I woke up this morning and I really just wanted to put on a red lipstick, which is so not like me because a lot of you guys would know that I'm really into my nudes. I'm always down for a good nude lip, but today it was different. I really just wanted to do a classic makeup look with red lips so this is what I did for you guys today I really do hope you guys enjoy it if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below and with that being said let's get into the tutorial alrighty guys I'm gonna start off by firstly priming the face as always today I'll be using the Anoxa pure silk skin primer I've been absolutely obsessed with this primer lately because it really does smooth out the surface of my skin and I feel like it really does minimize the look of my pores and fine lines. So whenever I do a red lip type of look on myself, I really do like my skin to be completely flawless and as you can see, we got this big mama to cover up today. So I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation. My one is in the shade number 27 Bisque Neutral. And the way that I like to apply it lately is to just dot it all over my skin. Bear in mind, this foundation like a little does go a long way, so you really don't need much. So as you can see, I just dot it on my skin and then I just use one of those old school foundation paddle brushes. This is the Sigma F60 foundation brush. And I basically just paint it on and I feel like this gives the nicest finish when it comes to this foundation. Next up, I'm just going to go in and correct the darkness underneath my eyes. So I'll be using this peachy toned corrector from LA Girl. And as you can see, I just take one swipe to each eye and then blend that out underneath my eyes with an airbrush concealer brush. Now for concealer, I'm going to mix these two shades. These are the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I have here Light Medium and Light Medium Honey. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is dot some of those concealers underneath my eyes and also just a teensy little bit in all the other areas I like to conceal and highlight. This concealer definitely packs a punch so a little goes a long way and to blend that into my skin I just like to use a dampened beauty sponge. Now to set those areas I'm going to be going in with my trusty Astralis Ready Set Go finishing powder. You guys know how much I love this setting powder. I feel like there's nothing else that I want to use underneath my eyes until I find something better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set those areas and I'm using the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush to do so. For the other areas of my face that I have not yet set, I'm going in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. My one is in the shade Petal and I'm just using a large powder brush from Sigma. I swear I've been using this powder so much lately in all of my videos, but I can't help it guys. It's honestly so amazing and I'm just completely obsessed with it. I zoomed you guys in because I am going to be working on the eyes now. For this part of the look though, the eyes are really straightforward and simple. So I'm firstly going to prime using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to blend that all over my lid up to the brows. As you can see, I'm just setting those lids with the same powder that I used to set the under eyes. It's always important to set the lids after you have primed them just to make sure that you don't experience any blotchiness or skipping when it comes to applying the eyeshadows. So for this look today, I'm pretty much just going to be using matte brown eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. So the first shadow that I'm going in with is Tiki Hut and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my crease. This is going to be my initial transitional crease shade. Next up, I'm going to be going in with the shade Tan Lines. It is a slightly darker matte brown shade and I'm going to go ahead and run that through my crease as well. Well, this time I'll be using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. So I'm pretty much doing the same motion, running it back and forth through the crease, but I won't be bringing it up as high and blowing it out and diffusing it as much as 
I did with that Tiki Hut shade. Now I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna add anything further to the crease, but for now I just wanna get started on the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna be taking this darker warm brown shade from Makeup Geek called Mocha. And I'm just using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. And what I'm gonna do is apply this to the outer corner of my eyes to really help define the eye a little more. So now that that outer corner shade is down, I'm just going back in and blending. And I think that I do want to add a little something more to the crease. So I'm going to be going in with this shade right here. This is Cabin Fever. As you can see, it is slightly warmer in tone. And I'm just going to be using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So I'm only going to put the slightest amount in my crease just to really help define it a little more. So for my lid shade, I'm going to keep it completely matte still. And I'm going to be going in with this. This is Peach Smoothie. And I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. And what I'm going to do is just wash that over my lids and blend it up into my crease and the outer corner. I almost forgot to do my bottom lash line so I'm just going to go back in with the Tiki Hut shade and I'm just using the Zoeva 23A Luxe Pencil Brush and I'm going to go ahead and smoke this out along the bottom lash line. I'm just going back in with the shade Mocha and I'm using a Sigma E30 pencil brush and as you can see I'm running this along my bottom lash line once again but I'm keeping it much closer to the lashes to help define that area a little more. Now I am going to be doing a winged liner for this look. I feel like red lips with a crispy winged liner is just like perfection. So I'm going in with the NYX liquid liner. This is their matte one which I love super easy to use and I feel like you just can't stuff up when using this liquid liner so I'm gonna try my best to give myself a fierce liquid liner we'll see how that goes but yeah just giving myself a wing I'm just gonna go ahead and give my lashes a quick coat of mascara as always I've been using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara as of late and I'm obsessed with it so that's why I've been using it in every single one of my videos but as you can see, I'm just giving my lashes a pretty decent coat on the bottom and a fairly light coat on the top because I will be going in with falsies. For falsies, I'm going to be going in with, yep, you guessed it, the Queen Bee's Lashes by Coco Lashes. You guys know that I am absolutely obsessed with these falsies. I feel like they are just my go-to and especially with a look like this that you really want the eyes to be popping. These are a must. So I've got the lashes on, but I just need to wait for the glue to dry so that I can kind of conceal them up with some liquid liner. So while I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I'll be going into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette. And I'm just gonna be taking this shade right here. I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheeks and I'll also be contouring my nose with this shade as well. Now that the glue is dry I'm just going to quickly go over that lash line with some liquid liner. This just ensures that everything looks nice and seamless on the lashes so it doesn't look like you have chunks of glue on the lash line. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face now so I'm using my beloved MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. You guys know that I love this stuff and I'm just using the Sigma F40 Large Angles Contour Brush. I'm just running that over my cheeks and also around the perimeters of my face especially on my forehead and my hairline just making sure that I am nice and sun-kissed. Now I'm not going to be applying any type of blush today just because I don't want any other colors to kind of clash with the lip color that I will be applying later on. But now it's time for my favorite part. I'm going to highlight. So I'm using the MAC O Darling highlight. This is actually my everyday highlighter guys and it's pretty beaming. Like you can apply it in a way that it's not too intense but you know your girl loves to glow, so I just go crazy with it. As always, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush, and I'm just highlighting in all the usual places that I like to highlight. So the tops of my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little above my brows, pretty much just all over my face. I'm also just gonna be using that same highlighter to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. I'm using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. So now it is finally time for the lips. I'm firstly going to line them. I'll be using this liner from Face of Australia. This is their lip definer in ruby red. I actually just found this in my collection and out of all of the red lip liners that I have, this one is the most creamy and just like true red type of shade. So as you can see, I'm just lining my lips. So I realized that this looks completely crazy right now. But for my actual lip color, I'll be using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. I honestly feel like this liquid lipstick is my perfect 
true red kind of shade. And what I love about it is that even though it is a liquid lipstick, it's not drying on the lips. I could wear this for 12 hours and still feel completely comfortable. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also, if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you may as well hit the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will list everything that I used throughout this video down in the description box below where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat or Facebook, all that good stuff is down below. Anyway, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will chat to you guys down in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Stay glowy. We need to not